Good morning, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0. Today is day 57, and with it comes the week of Mega Camp and some exciting releases. So, several new things going live this week, including what I'm going to talk to you about today, which is the shared Smart Plan Library. So, to dive into Smart Plans, you're going to click on the fourth applet down here on the left hand side and the tabs should look the same so you've got my smart plans and then you've got library but it's when you click on library that things change so you should now see the ability one you have a filter button two as you scroll down you're going to start seeing top rated for smart plans and then what's new so what's new includes any smart plans that have recently been created and published by Keller Williams agents across the ecosphere. So you have the ability to come in and kind of peruse those, check them out, see what they're all about, right? Next, you can come up and check out the top rated smart plans and see those. I will say that my follow-up smart plan from day five and six has already been loaded here. You can find my monthly call plan, and then I've also got the missing email smart plan along with the missing phone number smart plan. So those are all smart plans that we've discussed over the last, uh, what was it, 56 days. So uh, feel free to check out any of these smart plans. Uh, you can always hover over the steps and then from there hover over the individual steps to see what's actually included in each one of those steps. From there, you can decide if you'd like to add it to your library, and if so, just click on Add Smart Plan. Once you've kind of taken a look at it, you have the ability to come in and actually rate it anywhere from one to five stars so that you can provide feedback for other agents that are looking at possibly using those smart plans. Now, if you want to create a smart plan or if you want to publish a smart plan that you already have, once you come back to your My Smart Plans, you're going to see two tabs now. So you'll see People Plans and then published. So underneath published, these are the smart plans right now that I have actually published in the library. I can quickly and easily see when I publish them, how many agents are using them, and what my current rating is for those plans. Now to publish a smart plan, it's as simple as coming in to the actual plan and then clicking on the three dots on the far right hand side and clicking on publish to library. Now, a couple of things real quick, and I've already seen this start to happen in the library. My recommendation is that if you're going to publish one of your own smart plans, you create a second version of it and you remove all identifying information from you with regards to that smart plan. Um, so, for example, you can see here I have published missing email, right? If you come down, here's my published 66 day challenge, but this is the one that I actually use for my clients. So the published one, I have removed all actual kind of, you know, anything dealing with KW Platinum, my brokerage, or my name. Uh, you can always copy a smart plan and then post, uh, you know, make changes to it. But just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like, let's come in and just say, um, I'm trying to find, let me just do the test one. I'll come over here and click on publish to library. I can't, it doesn't have any touches associated with it. Uh, all right, so here's one, my Market Center R2 appointment. So I could click on Publish to Library, and it's going to open up a new tab. And basically, it'll say, what do you want the plan to be, right? And what is it, the plan name? And I can come in and change the plan name. A description. And realize you have a certain number of characters that will show up on the little tab, and then you could click on See More. So you need to be very direct with what the description is all about. And then it'll actually load the smart plan and you can make changes from here as well. So I could come in and take out my name on all of these texts if I wanted to. Um, you'll see some best practices down here on the right hand side. Make sure they are built using merge tags. So instead of saying Marty, I could use agent name, right? So if you were agent first name, if you were planning on building out this exact smart plan, which you wouldn't, this is just an example instead of putting in your name, put in agent first name. Um, you can also put in team name, right? So if it's with Keller Williams, you could put in with blank team at Keller Williams if you were on a team, anything along those lines. So just best to kind of scrub it from any of your personal information. Don't include personal links. Here it is, right? Do not include personal information. Uh, there's also a help article and answers article here. 
So if you click on Learn More, you'll get taken into an entire uh, answers.kw.com article on the best practices for publishing a smart plan, which is super helpful. So that's it for today, guys. I'm really looking forward to seeing the development of this library, seeing even more content be loaded by agents across the US and uh, course across the globe and kind of check out what's available from other agents. So that's today. It's day one of Mega Camp, but day 57 of the 66 day challenge. Hope everyone's going to have an amazing Mega Camp week. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you real soon.